Hello everyone and welcome to Medi Simplified. So in this video, we are going to talk about the important topics uh, asked in the FMG exams. So this is the first part of the video. In this part, we'll discuss about ANAC, Physio, Biochem, Patho, Pharma, Physio and Micro. And another two parts I'll be uh, sharing with you in which the first, in which on one part will be including the major subjects like PSM, Medicine, Surgery, Obstina and the other part the third part will be including uh, all the short subjects. So let's start with it. First, from anatomy. So in anatomy, all the nerves are important. Their root values, their innervations, which muscles they are supplying, all these are very important. Then the second important thing is the brachial plexus. And then all the spaces in upper limb and the lower limb, including uh, all the tri quadrangular, triangular, upper triangular, lower triangular spaces, cubital fossa, radial fossa. Okay, then from lower limb uh, spaces like uh, femoral canal, abductor canal, etc. Then uh, upper tunnel, anatomical snuff box, muscles, all the muscles are important. It's, it will be good for you if you go with the images and the innervation of each muscles is very important. Then the carpal and the tarsal bones, the joints. Okay, for the carpal bones, uh, in which year, which is uh, which is the uh, largest carpal, which is the shortest carpal. Then types of joints and their examples. For this, you can watch our video. Then basal ganglia and internal capsule parts of basal ganglia. Then images of this basal ganglia and inter internal capsule is very important. All the cranial nerves are important, especially the uh, fifth, tenth, seventh. This kind of the major nerves are very important for uh, FMD exams. All the cells and nuclei of cerebellum. In cerebellum, there are five cells. They are arranged in three layers. That is important. And all the nuclei, that is the dented nuclei, fusiform nuclei, etc. Such the nucleus of the cerebellum is another important topic. And the circle of villus, all its branches. Which of the which which of the artery is not a part of circle of fillers? This is the question which is asked many times in the exam. Then the foramen in the base of skull. All the twelve cranial nerves passes from the base of skull. All the foramen, foramen ovale, rotundum, lacer, uh, foramen, spinosum, okay, the hypoglossal canal. Such things is very important for FMG exam. Then all the muscles of mastication and tongue it is important. In embryology, it is very important to know the CVS and CNS embryology. In CNS embryology, the head and neck embryology, that is the pharyngeal arches, pouches, etc. All the general embryology is very important. The spermatogenesis, oogenesis, these things. After that, head and neck embryology, I have already mentioned. Then abdomen and thorax, the levels of the organ, like uh, at which level the st uh, stomach is located, at which level the kidney is located, all the abdomen and thorax organs, including lungs, heart, and their levels, according to the uh, vertebrae. Then the root of lung. In the root of lung, uh, three things passes, in, but it is different in right and uh, left lung. So it is very important to know. And the course of CSF, how the CSF is passing from ventricles, and the broadman numbers in uh, brain we have in the uh, cerebral cortex we have broadman numbers and each broadman number is uh, assigned to uh, specific parts so uh, it is very important then the coronary circulation the right coronary artery left coronary artery and their branches venous drainage of heart there is one vein which is not directly draining in the uh, and other three are uh, draining differently so that is important then the anterior abdominal wall rectal sheet, how it is arranged above and above and below arcuate line, and venous drainage of abdomen, including the main veins like inferior vena cava and portal vein, uh, portal vein, their tributaries are important. Inguinal canal, another important topic. Then rotation of gut in the embryology of GIT, rotation of gut is very important. Like at which degree, how the hind gut is rotating, how the foregut is rotating so that our intestine is fixed very properly in the abdomen. So that is an important part. And development of the urogenital system is also important from embryology. Abdominal aorta and its branches, very, very important topic. Every year a question is asked from this topic. And the surgical division of labor. It is also uh, studied in surgery. 
but in an ad also it is taught so surgical division of liver is important and about physiology in physiology the classification of blood vessels so blood vessels artery arterioles vein venules etc they are having different names and it is classified uh, classified accordingly so that classification is very important and cardiac cycle cardiac cycle all the volumes in the heart that is uh, stroke volume and diastolic volume that all these volumes in the cbs chapter is important after that murmurs murmurs are very important uh, you can learn that murmurs in medicine also but it is also taught in physiology so murmurs should be uh, learned from physiology itself because many of the people tend to leave the medicine subject so murmurs from physiology is important hemopoiesis rbc indices M mch mch mchc uh, mcv these things their uh, range is important metabolism of hemoglobin metabolism of hemoglobin is studied in both physiology as well as biochemistry so in physiology metabolism of hemoglobin and wbc and its component lymphocytes monocytes their function in immunity everything is important in clotting factors and platelets types of anticoagulants rh incompatibility that is hydrox vitalis uh, it is also studied in pedia but you should uh, know this thing also mechanism of iron absorption classification of airways surfactants lung volumes like the volumes in uh, all the volumes in physiology is important so all the cvs volumes that is end diastolic which i have already told then all the lung volumes are important and the dead spaces anatomical and physiological dead spaces is important ventilation perfusion ratio it is different at the base different at the apex so that is important to know o2 and uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide transport and or and halden effect and that is an important topic and whole ans you should study it is very shortly uh, taught in physiology so whole ans and types of nephrons in kidney cortical nephron and juxta glomerular nephron ag apparatus mechanism of urine concentration and dilution is important and gfr that is glomerular filtration rate is important at the, uh, in the kidney and the nephron itself it is different in different parts so that is very important to know reabsorption secretion and filtration in kidney in pct what is reabsorbed what is secreted what is filtrated in the same way in the whole nephron different parts are there and in each part what is uh, reabsorbed what is secreted and what is filtered filtered is important classification of anemia you should study it in physiology also and you will study also in hematology that is from pathology general and endocrine physiology completely is important and eeg that is electro encephalography uh, sleep waves that is important and git and reproduction you should know all the hormones now talking about biochemistry all the cycles and their energetics is important glucose transporters inhibitors of electron transport chain classification of amino acids formation of t3 t4 and catecholamines metabolism of amino acids classification of lipids and related disorders that is lipid storage disorder gosher disorder neiman pick disorder etc and metabolism of lipoproteins vldl ldl hdl they are uh, having a metabolic pathway so that is very important in biochemistry beta oxidation of lipids metabolism of lipids as whole is important but if you cannot do the whole metabolism So you should do at least beta, beta oxidation of lipids and ketone bodies, cholesterol metabolism, vitamins and nucleic acid as complete. Because and from vitamins you can get two to four question if you uh, do vitamins and biochemistry it is also done in PSM. So combine it gives two to four questions every year. And factors affecting the enzyme activity uh, and enzyme classification. also important then types of ldh and where they they are form ldh are five five type 1 2 3 4 5 and they are uh, li located in different uh, organs and so that is very important now in pathology uh, we will uh, pathology and uh, most of the question asked are, are asked from the general pathology itself and so from general pathology first cell injury as a whole uh, topic is important and types of necrosis intrinsic and extrinsic pathway of apoptosis pro pro apoptotic bodies anti apoptotic free radicals intracellular adaptations 
lipofuscin and cellular aging acute and chronic inflammation that is the all inflammation inflammation as a topic whole and granulomas in chronic uh, inflammation you study granulomas those granulomas are important in which disease they are seen every time a question is asked from dog uh, naked granuloma stellate granuloma this kind of questions are asked and immunity whole chapter is important immunity you can study in path also and you will also study in microbiology and types of hypersensitivity reaction type 1 2 3 4 and type 5 which is a subtype of type 2 so this is very important to know and amyloidosis which amyloid uh, is for, is seen in which disease that is important and types of graft rejection and graft versus host disease graft versus host disease neoplasia as a whole topic is important in neoplasia you should know all the oncoprotein tumor suppressor genes borberg effect uh, which is a complication of uh, cancer and paraneoplastic syndrome and cancer cachexia that is also important and all the immuno ihc it is called as immunohistochemistry you should uh, know all the immunohistochemistry markers tumor markers are also important and in genetics Uh, you should at least know the table for autosomal recessive autosomal dominant xlen recessive xlen dominant this is very important now talking about the systemic pathology in systemic pathology kidney is a very important topic in kidney glomerulonephritis the whole topic of glomerulonephritis is important then bladder cancer and specifically in bladder cancer the uh, transitional cell carcinoma usually the bladder cancer has squamous cell carcinoma but uh, due to cystosomiasis there is a metaplasia due to which a transitional cell carcinoma is seen so that is important from the bladder carcinoma then emphysema bronchial asthma chronic bronchitis pneumoconiosis pneumoconiosis you will again study in psm but you should study here itself and lung cancer tumors of pleura that is mesothelium mesothelioma and adenocarcinoma of pleura that is very important and from hematology all aml cll cml that is acute leukoid uh, ALL, AML, CLL, CML is important. Then Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, anemia classification you already did in uh, physiology. So once again you should do the classification. And from anemia, iron deficiency anemia is very important. And G6PD, sickle cell anemia, thalassemias are important. Then bleeding and coagulations. Embolism is formed, and that embolism is very important topic. Aneurysms. arteriosclerosis vasculitis all the vasculitis small uh, small vessel medium vessel and large vessel vasculitis are important and kaposi sarcoma a single topic i am i have mentioned kaposi sarcoma it is very important then hepatitis all the hepatitis virus and which, how it is caused which is the most common hepatitis uh, in chronic and which is the most common hepatitis as normal that kind of question is asked in alcoholic liver disease Clear disease, congenital anomalies of CNS. You will study this once again in pediatrics, but you should know this uh, from pathology itself. So it will be very easy when you do it in uh, pediatrics. And inclusion bodies in CNS infection. And see, uh, if you go uh, through your CNS chapter, uh, there are many diseases like rabies, and uh, in the in those uh, diseases there are inclusion bodies are seen, and those inclusion bodies is very important to know. and most common in cns tumor which is the most common cns tumor in adult which is the most common cns tumor in ch children benign most common and malignant most common such questions is asked from cns tumors vegetation in cvs disorders is also important now talking about pharma so in pharma first the most important thing is general pharmacology as whole you should know each and everything from general pharmacology you will easily get five to six questions from there then alpha and beta blockers are very important carbomet and op poisoning from ans this you will once again learn in fmt but you should study from here itself and atropine ac inhibitors arbs hypertension drugs anti epileptics extra pyramidal symptoms which is seen uh, with uh, dopamine blockers and lithium and diazepam metrology drugs Uh, as it is not studied as it is not covered by many of the teachers that pathology people leave the hematology uh, drugs medicine people will say that it is covered in pathology but the drugs part is remained everywhere and so it is very important to cover it from pharma 
from GIT, the drugs of constipation and vomiting are important. Then proton pump inhibitors is a very important topic. Drugs for asthma and COPD is important. Malaria, TB, HIV are were the important ones. Now, as we can see, the COVID is uh, at its peak. So uh, drugs for COVID may be asked in exam. Then diuretics, ethylene resistant, uh, uh, staph aureus, vancomycin resistant staph aureus, that is important drugs for pseudomonas. Side effect of cancer drugs, hormones as whole is important. Anti-diabetic, anti-thyroid, thyroid disorder drugs are important. Now talking about microbiology. In microbiology, general bacteriology is very important. And staph and streptococcus, meningococci and gonococci. Food poisoning organism. Which organism is causing which kind of food poisoning? What are the clinical symptoms seen in how many hours? Uh, what it is uh, showing its effect? That is important. Mycobacterium topic as whole. Well. That is mycobacterium tuberculosis, mycobacterium leprae, non mycobacterium, uh, non tuberculosis uh, things are there. That is mycobacterium cancer, mycobacterium. Different types of micro ulcerants are xenopyte. That, uh, that is a whole table for it. That is also very important. Pseudomonas, very important from micro also and from pharma also. And E. coli, Epsilia, Proteus, Vibrio cholerae, and uh, Vibrio hemolyticus, Spirochetes, Chlamydia, and H. pylori. Mycology as whole is important. Plasmodium is important. Parasitology, you should do images. As many time uh, images were asked in last exam also, then helminthology also do the images. Types of viruses is important. That which virus is a DNA virus, which vi virus is a RNA virus is very important to know. And shapes of the virus, questions are asked. Cultivation of virus and their cell lines, that is important. Herpes family from virus is important. Polio, influenza and Coxsackie virus is important. Rabies is important. Hepatitis, everywhere it is important, whether it's medicine, patho, pharma, everywhere, hepatitis is important, A, B, C, D, E, and there all the features is important. HIV virus, Rota virus and Zika virus, prions disease is important, and immunology as whole is important. So this was all about important topics from ANAD, Physio, Biochem, Patho, Pharma, and Physio, uh, Patho, Pharma, and Micro. In the next part of the video, I'll be sharing with the important topics of uh, surgery, medicine, obscaina, PSM, and pedia. So, thanks for watching the video. Hope you uh, find it useful. Keep like, share, and uh, sharing. Uh, keep like, share, and subscribing my channel. Thank you.